All right, guys, in our next series, we're going to be covering body control and body awareness. So body control is balance and coordination. Um, and body awareness is the uh, brain's ability to know what is required of the trunk and limbs uh, as it moves through uh, a movement. Um, so with that in mind, uh, one of the things that's required with both of those, um, and probably the most important part, is going to be core strength and stability. Um, so with core strength and stability, what is the core? Uh, the core is not just the abs. Uh, the core is the abdominals, uh, it's the hips, it's the glutes, um, hamstrings, and as well as the uh, back, okay? So mid and lower upper back. Um, so all of that involves the core. So the big thing with the core is the core, um, everything moves. Uh, all movements start at the core and then move uh, to your extremities, to your limbs. Um, so that's why this is so important because there's no movement that we do in CrossFit or in general uh, where we do not uh, involve the core first and then uh, the extremities. So. Uh, with that being said, one of the most important movements, I think, is kind of the basics. So we're going to start with the basics. The foundation is the plank. A uh, very simple movement, um, but also one that can easily be, um, if not done well, isn't, uh, isn't going to transfer to our movements. So being able to do the plank and being able to do the plank well, and then we'll go over some, some progressions with that. So with the plank, so the first thing at the plank, um, we're going to go, all of our planks are going to be hands and feet. So you're going to start always having the hands sit right in line with the shoulders. Feet are going to go feet together. Okay? So from here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to brace. So a great thing with, with planks is it teaches you how to, um, it teaches you bracing. So we're bracing the spine uh, in order to protect the spine. Um, so with every movement that you do, whether it's a weightlifting movement, um, whether it's a strength movement, uh, squat, deadlift, um, or gymnastics movement, the first thing you do is you always, uh, you always brace, bracing the spine, the abdominals, um, controlling those. And so with the plank, this is kind of just the foundation of teaching you that bracing movement. So the plank, when you get set up, hands under your shoulders, feet together, from here, I'm going to tuck my tailbone under, okay? So a lot of times people stay relaxed, so you, they feel a lot of stress in their shoulders, and they start to relax in their midline, and then over time, they start to sag here, and they assume that they're holding a plank, but the one thing and the most important thing that's not happening uh, is they are not activating their core, and they're not embracing. So a couple of things, tuck the tailbone, squeeze the glutes always being turned on in that position. Um, ideally, plank, you should be able to hold that, uh, let's just say, uh, 60 seconds minimum uh, before moving on to any of these other progressions. So just being able to hold a standard plank um, on the ground with your knees, so obviously a, a, an easy scale before that would be knees holding here, okay, squeeze the glutes, tuck the tailbone from here, squeeze, always tucking the tailbone, um, staying in that kind of uh, inverse hollow body position or prone hollow body position. Um, so with that, that's kind of the basic right here. 60 seconds, once you, once you can control and hold that, uh, then we move on to a little bit more challenging uh, plank position. So uh, basic floor plank. Uh, the next one we're going to go to, uh, so now we're going to create, it's called the front leaning ring support, so it's a plank on the rings. Um, this creates now a little bit of instability. So in this position, everything stays the same as far as your core. We're going to brace, we're going to tuck the tailbone, we're going to squeeze the glutes. I'm going to turn out, externally rotate to about 45 degrees, keeping the rings always right under my shoulders here. Okay, so they're not going here. We're not coming outside the body. The goal here is to be able to keep the rings directly under the shoulders in a good, strong uh, support. All while maintaining, again, midline. As soon as you start to lose that midline, come down, rest, go back in, um, or you're done, okay? Uh, some things you can do, so that's with rings, some things you can do with med balls, okay? Two options, okay? So easier, hands on each. 
If you have slam balls, it might be a little bit easier, a little bit unstable. So here, holding a plank, you can also go both feet on. As well, also too, you can ditch one. You can go both hands on one or both feet on one. And again, squeeze the glutes, tuck the tailbone, stay active. Um, probably one of the hardest. Um, you may or may not have one of these in your gym, like a stability board. Uh, they're pretty easy to make or mimic. Um, so here, probably the most challenging. Again, you can go hands on. Brace here, trying not to let the ends touch while maintaining that midline. You can also go feet on. And the more narrow your feet, More challenging the movement's gonna be. So play around with those. So again, this is the first part of our body awareness, body control, is getting that core strength and stability. Uh, from here, we'll move into other movements, L-sits, L-hangs, skin the cats, uh, headstands, uh, handstand balance, and all those things that start to teach you kind of that mind-body uh, control that will hopefully transfer not just gymnastics movements but into strength and uh, Olympic lifting as well. So stay tuned um, week by week and we'll get those videos out to you. Thanks.